hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video as promised we would be working upon the test classes so what are test classes and how do we create those test classes we would be learning in this video and i do hope that you are uh, working as a beginner from beginner point of view so i would be uh, starting from the scratch so let's get started now then so uh, in the previous video uh, we wrote out this trigger so those who haven't watched this video uh, the link would be in the description as well as in the i button so what we did here was we uh, created those many opportunities as uh, uh, allowed by our account dot number of employees so now we are to create a test class so what is does this test class means that uh, why do we create these test classes so basically the main purpose of your test class is to check whether our functionality is working as per expected or not and if there uh, is certain a certainty of error to what extent does that error is and what uh, what is the cause of that error so we try to find out uh, those things and in those things uh, we uh, deal with our test classes and uh, one thing more guys uh, without test classes you cannot deploy your code into production so for that you have to create a test class for every class that you create and that should be 75% um, minimum 75 is the criteria for those tests to pass so uh, this is a simple class I named this account with opportunity test okay now uh, now since you are creating a test class so what needs to be done is you are to create at the rate is test annotation so that whenever uh, the compiler uh, checks out so with this annotation uh, it will uh, take this class as a test class okay and uh, there are two things that you should note down first is your uh, test setup as well as second is your uh, uh, test method and for those test methods we generally use the is test annotation everywhere okay so uh, what needs to be done is guys uh, in the test setup what we do is we create all the desired accounts opportunities contacts as per our uh, required uh, required by our class uh, okay and in the test method uh, we uh, get these accounts uh, from the test setup and over those accounts we uh, have our operations so this helps us in code modularity as well as uh, this also helps to uh, clarify and classify our code as per the requirements and it also improve the readability so let's get started then uh, first we would be creating test setup uh, okay and this is the annotation as there are test setup and this all the classes that you are making should be static void setup and this could be any name abc def geh so now you are to check this trigger and for the for checking the trigger you are not uh, allowed to call this method why because trigger automatically uh, gets called whenever uh, this all these conditions are met so you don't need to call uh, any uh, trigger handler for that matter you are just need to create the required things for this see how you are to go upon creating this uh, test class for this trigger is see guys uh, let me uh, see what are the important details in this so uh, what are the important details is uh, you are having your uh, uh, account on your account object your trigger is being handled and uh, what is the condition if your number of employees is greater than zero then this loop will work so this would be creating n number of opportunities if my number of employees is n okay so uh, uh, what needs to be done is then what needs to be done so uh, you need to create a data for account account data that you would be putting in the setup and in the test method what you would be doing is 
you would be querying this account data and would be checking that these number of opportunities are created or not i think you are getting confused so let we first dive into the code uh, in the setup since i told you i need to create an account okay acc.name should be any name you could be doing dummy and uh, acc and first of one thing more you need to remember you need to get all the required fields like for in the accounts what are the required fields the name is the required field and your rating is the required field so check whether this rating is a standard or a custom object so going over to our object manager account fields and relationship and here we would be checking rating so this is a standard object pick list and the rating values are hot warm and cold okay so acc dot uh, rating should be hot and what is the criteria for this condition to run the number of employees field okay so give this acc dot number of employees should be five now i am inserting this acc okay so now your account has been inserted into the database over this uh, now i have created my test setup that i needs that needs to be done so now we would be working upon the method like the test method so we would be doing at the rate is test and public static void test account test opportunities any method name and in here what we would be doing so now you are to assume that you are having only this amount of data in your database that means in your salesforce org since you are working in this test uh, test or uh, test class this data hasn't been saved to your database so don't worry of that so in this way uh, we avoid unnecessary data uh, putting of data into our uh, salesforce organization so um, for now whenever uh, this test class would run it would be referencing this test setup for the account values it would not be referencing my these accounts okay it would be referencing my test setup only so now first of all i have to query this account so account get account is equal to select id uh, and number of employees from account where name is dummy okay from here you are getting your account and what we would be doing is uh, we could be using, using system dot debug uh, name of account is uh, get account dot name okay so and uh, we would be doing is system uh, okay uh, first of all uh, let me run this uh, code for you all okay oh sorry uh, this was plus icon uh, okay now you would be running your test go to this window go into the test this is your so we got this error the s object row was retrieved without uh, this uh, requested field that is the account name so what you would be doing is first of all uh, 
get this name because we queried this and uh, we didn't use this name uh, so okay now if we run our test now our test is success and see it's completed and in the logs as well you could check out the name okay account is dummy one thing more guys uh, if you check out the code coverage uh, if you check out the code coverage and what was the name account with opportunities and if you go here your code coverage is 100% okay see you could check as well in here as well and uh, you could check from here because we have directly wrote this trigger so we can check from here so this is the code coverage 100% uh, tasks are completed and now what I want is I want system dot assert equals uh, because this is important from here uh, you could check that what should be your actual result and what is your expected result so your expected result is get account dot opportunities dot size and the actual size was 5 ok uh, what is the error ok our error is gone and if we do it again so we would see that our test is failing okay just wanted to make you through this uh, see our test is failing assert equals it is showing 0 and actual are 5 but our test is passing so what is the matter in here so those of you who are pretty aware of the mistake that I have done can think and write in the comments and those of you who uh, don't know and who are new for this so guys what is the main problem here is we are getting the opportunities from but from this account now and in this account have we queried the opportunities no so you would be getting zero only so select id from simple trigger is saved now I would be running test see this has passed completed and now if you see the logs as well uh, we haven't uh, uh, did this so assert is working fine and let us debug it this okay so we are having five opportunities and now we would be checking that whether this is working fine or not See the opportunities are 5 and the actual opportunities that we passed in here was also 5. Okay, now if you say 15, let us test with that also. Close these. see the uh, opportunities are 15 our assertion failed because we expected this to be 5 only so that was the error see this would be success 
and so i think now the major fund of test classes has been put in for front of you and i think i have made this video pretty easy for the beginners to understand and but then also if you are facing any doubts in this video or any prior video regarding to salesforce or any other technologies that we have taught you could comment down below we would be happy to take up your doubts guys so thanks for watching and stay connected for more videos